Hi hey guys, I keep on typing things, right? And if you are tired of typing, you have the reflex to do an alias. So this is about aliases. And it's also about something that you may or may not use. And that's the Bash RC personal. I even have a new one, another one, private. Private means I will not show you, right? But the Bash RC is the one that we all have and it gets overwritten if you do a scal for example but it doesn't matter so this is our thing you can create your own aliases so if you don't like what this particular these letters do and you want to change it then be my guest here at the end it says bash personal if the file bash personal exists then run it right so bash personal you can I can share you what is in there. This is other stuff that I've not included in the Bash RC, but things that I think might be of interest. And if they are interesting, then I move it to the other, right? So I was doing the following exercise over and over and over. Pseudo make init CPO minus P is something I tend to type quite a bit. Now I can do SMP, right? So first you look, does that exist? No, SMP does not exist. So basically, if I create a new alias in my Bash RC personal, that's where I'll put it. And I tell the system that it's make init CPIO minus P, right? Then in this terminal, only in this window, that works. Now, if I want to have it on the next reboot, I better put it in the private because again, Scale overrides the Bash RC. It will never overwrite your Bash personal because hey, that's personal, right? Control Shift C is this alias. And I go in here, Bash personal, it's up here. And I say, whoop, at the very end, Control V, save. And from now on, this machine will have an alias called SMP. And that's what I suggest you do. Everything you find on other distros, because we are, let's face it, distro hoppers in Linux, anything you find as aliases that I say, wow, that's interesting, I wanna have that, it goes in the Bash RC personal. Anything you dislike in the commands here, and you wanna do something else for, I don't know, for update, for example, right? Control find update. And you say, I wanna have a different command. I just wanna have this one rather than this one, right? It's up to you. The only thing you need to do is overwrite it basically because Bezier C is the last one that gets applied. From now on, update will have this as alias. It's overwritten and that's what you do. That's how you use your Bash RC and your Bash RC personal, which I'm not gonna do, right? Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, save. So there you go. Another video about Bash RC personal, how interesting it is to have it, because at the very end, do check it out. At the very end, we do say, go grab it, right? In here, it says, go grab it. If the file exists, then go for it get it so that's it for me i'm not gonna put this inside the official bash rc for not for now anyway and the next thing i think you should do if there's a clean installation right if there is a clean install control c there is something called articling nemesis have a look at it and we have the personal in here and settings in here and there is something with shell personal maybe yeah so this is my bash rc personal so that's the old one this is the new one and then when i run the article nemesis it just gets, gets copy pasted over and i've got it right so pam mctray these guys are new and alias updates i don't use it anymore but we had this test going on why not use at each update you make a backup <laughs> of course if you type update a lot you get a lot of backups and it fills up immediately so not gonna go that that way 
So there you go. That's another way. So on each clean installation, I'll have a Bachelor C personal and I am in control. And that's what Articling is all about. Choices and being in control because the only thing you need is knowledge, right? That's where you get it at Articlinks. Cheers.